Compression molding is a simple manufacturing process where a charge is loaded into a mold and compressed, then the part is released from the mold and cleaned. Parts such as automotive panels, kitchen appliance components, electrical switches, and respirator masks are produced using this process. In this video, you'll learn what types of challenges arise with compression molding, as well as how Moldex 3D can help you overcome these challenges. Compression molding is a process in which a polymer, called a charge or a compound, is squeezed into a mold cavity under heat and pressure until the charge is cured. This process is simpler than injection molding and the tooling cost is lower, making it cost effective for shorter runs. It also allows for high filler loadings and the use of a variety of different materials. Challenges for compression molding include determining the correct charge size, predicting the force and compression speed profile required to produce a part with the desired shape, designing the mold for heating or cooling after the material has been compressed into the mold, and detecting potential for flash. Let's take a look at how Moldex 3D can help you navigate these challenges. First, we can simulate the filling process with single or multiple charge designs. Just choose the number of time steps you'd like to use in the computation parameters, and then create a time series animation to view how the part fills. This will help you understand how weld lines form and where air traps are located. Next, we'll be able to visualize pressure distribution, volumetric shrinkage, and residual stress. These results will give us an idea of how the part will warp, and once the part is in its final application, how much stress remains in the part, reducing its strength and making it prone to further dimensional instability. We can also predict potential for molding defects such as short shots and flash. Let's take a look at the filling log file for this simulation. Scrolling down to the bottom, we can see what the fill percent, compression ratio, and compression force are at the end of fill. In an ideal scenario, the fill percent will reach 100% for a full part, the compression ratio will reach 100% indicating a closed mold, and the compression force will be below the pressure limit of your machine. Here, the pressure limit was reached, causing the mold to stop moving forward at 98.83%. More optimization is needed for this process to find the ideal compression speed, force, charge size, and mold temperature. This is easily done in Moldex 3D by copying a run and making the desired process adjustments. Finally, we can analyze fiber orientation. This is important for understanding the anisotropic properties of fiber-filled parts. A part's strength, modulus, and volumetric shrinkage will change depending on the direction of fiber orientation. Charge layout patterns can be compared to see which pattern leads to the optimal part. So to summarize, compression molding is a cost-effective method for manufacturing simple, flat, large parts. Challenges arise when trying to determine the correct charge size, predicting the force required to get the desired part shape, and avoiding flash. Moldex 3D can help you optimize your process and avoid molding defects before you ever make your first part. If you enjoyed this content, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for tutorials and follow us on LinkedIn where you'll find information on training and other upcoming events.